What's going on, everyone? It's time for another action sci-fi fantasy uh, creature feature film review. Today we're going to do a film... Well, I got tired of reviewing, like, crappy sci-fi movies, the uh, Transformers films. So I thought I might as well check out something that I... When I thought it was sick when I was younger, so I thought I'd revisit a film that uh, needs more praise and stuff, hopefully. And, um, yeah... So, even though I thought Transformers was sick when I was younger, too. So, I was scared that was going to happen, but thank God it didn't. Uh, today, we're going to talk about a film that most people probably forgot about, Rain of Fire. It was released by Touchstone Pictures July 12th, 2002. It stars Matthew McConaughey and Christian Bale uh, and Gerard Butler. Or I think. I think it was Gerard Butler. Uh, one sec. Matthew McConaughey, Christian Bale. Yeah, Jerry Butler is in it. <laughs> was him. Anyways, it was produced by Jeremiah Goldman, Lickman, written by Greg Chabot, uh, Kevin Patrika, and Matt Greenberg. It was directed by Rob Bowman, who's more well known for doing like the X Files, the movie, or X Files like the future, um, Electra, Airborne. And Shades of Grey. This had a box office range of only $82.2 million. I mean, I believe it had like a $60 million budget. So it was considered a flop when it came out. But it came out during the, the prime of, of right in the middle of the summer blockbuster season. Where it's going up against like Jurassic Park 3 and uh, a lot of other monsterish movies and stuff like that at the time. So Reign of Fire. Well, it takes place in the not-so-distant future of 2082, where a young kid, well, around this time, would be touring central London in a mining operation for, like, the subway or something, and uh, they unearth uh, a dragon nest in which they come out and destroy the world. And then you get set into the future, where it's more of a dystopian type of feel, where they are fighting like it's the Middle Ages against dragons and against dragons and trying to survive. And then amongst this, the them defending their settlement, um, uh, the Americans come with their battle tanks and everything and try to help out, even though they're just there to fight the monsters. And Matthew McConaughey plays the lead uh, soldier in this. This is one of those more badass roles. He did a really good job. That guy. He did a really good job at playing him and uh, was definitely one of uh, the stronger characters in this film. Um this film is a lot of fun. It has just enough character development to make you like feel for the characters when stuff goes awry. And uh, a lot of uh, good battle scenes happen in it. Um, yeah, the character development and the story is actually pretty interesting. It follows basic monster movie tropes, but it does it with a very exquisite type of feel to it and a good... Uh, it just has a good narrative to go follow. It's such a unique type of film and stuff that it works. And uh, it's definitely underrated. Now, special effects wise, uh, the practical effects is absolutely outstanding. There's some really good, like, close up shots of this, like, dragon heads and, like, the inner guts and stuff, which looks fantastic and stuff. There's only, like, one scene where I complain about it, and that's... There's one scene that looks a little dated, and that's when they're in the helicopter and the things... The dragon's following them and stuff, I think it looks a little dated, but other than that, the special effects still holds up. Even the ones where it's just, like, the dragon on the ground walking and stuff looks way better than half the junk that comes out these days. Like, people need to learn. Look back at UCG when needed. Don't rely on it for the whole thing, but... Idiots run companies, so why why would they listen to me? Anyways, um, yeah, the effects of it, the music in this is also really good. It's a very strong score, very uh, very gets you into when they're fighting the dragon and stuff. It gets you right into the moment, and it works really well. And then the cinematography is obviously really good too. Overall, I really like this film. I think it's a fun. Real good, like, monster movie with um, some really good action scenes and some characters where you actually feel for them and stuff in this. this. Uh, it could have used a little more character development and maybe a more compelling story, but other than that, this is actually a really good film. So I'm going to give this film a 4 out of 5. Um, it's 
really cool. Too bad I don't know where it's streaming. So, like, I have the DVD of it. That's how well, I watched it. But uh, I'm not sure where it's streaming, but I'll link the show down below if it sounds like something you're interested in. Or if you want to relive it, it's linked down there. Also, make sure you check out my Instagram. That's linked down below. That's where I post clips of films I'm going to review in the future on my stories. You put the film title in there, some history or fun fact thing in there as well. Also, my letterbox is down below. Derek Peer Reviews. That's where I post my first star rating or the films. And my Twitter is down below. Reviews underscore Derek. So, follow me on those platforms. Stay with this channel. Like this video. Share some more people who have a comment. Your opinions of the film down below. If you have any, if you have any films or film franchise and any genre and on any streaming service that you want to hear my opinions on in the future, comment those down below too. I'll try my best to get to them as soon as I can and if I can find them. Make sure you subscribe. Hope you find some weird if you're in all they probably never thought of checking out together. And also, so you're my opinions on popular films that have come out, classic films, and reviews on other things as well. And don't forget to ring that bell because, well, we're going to do another creature feature type of film. Um, the New Daughter stars Dennis Quaid, so it should be interesting. Uh, no one really talked about it, but um, I found it on Prime, so I'm going to check that out in the next review. So make sure you tune in for that. Watch out for all those dragons that we unearthed, causing have it, uh, about to kill us all because, well, humanity needs to die anyways, and I guess we'll see you all in the next review. So until then, cheers.